A writer writes, developing direct marketing copy. Eventually, all database marketing companies need to be able to develop the communications that they are going to use to build a dialogue with their best customers. There are a couple of ways that this can be done. Of course, you can outsource it to an ad agency or to a direct marketing agency or some other creative communication agency to do that for you. Or you can go through the process of developing your own writing skills. Now, to do that, um, uh, you'll, if you go up online and look around, you'll find that there are all sorts of formulas for writing direct marketing copy. Um, and many times it, it's storytelling principles, those sorts of things. But it is this notion that there are plenty of, of advice, uh, articles, and tips for uh, writing direct marketing copy. If you decide to go this route, you need to use the right tool for your writing project. There are dozens of formulas for writing. Uh, which one should you use and, and, uh, and do each one's work for each project and, and all those sorts of questions? Well, that will take some time to sort through. When you start writing, you'll find that the sheer number of writing formulas will overwhelm you. Well, to accomplish this writing, there are many um, tips and um, guidelines to help you become a better copy writer. There are basically two kinds of writing formulas. Outline formulas that serve as a template to sort of set up a, a way for you to write. And then there are guideline formulas that serve as a principles to follow as you write. The trick is to know when to use each type of formula and to find a formula that will actually work for you. Now, outline formulas, this is a, this, this is a, a, um, uh, a formula that, that, we, that most commonly think of when you hear the term formula in algebra that is here is a formula for doing this or maybe uh, very similar to a recipe if you were going to be cooking something an outline formula offers a series of steps or bullet points to follow as you write like a general outline or sometimes we refer to this as a template an example might be the four p's you know um, uh, for a sales letter um, picture promise, proof, and push. Um, when should you use an outline formula? Well, I like to think of an outline formula as something that Paul Harvey used to use when he used to do the daily, the rest of the story. It was always set up in the same way with the same basic format. And he would go through that whole story where he would have this, this little vignette at the beginning and it was this nice, neat little story. And then... Just about when you thought that th that it was just a quaint, interesting story, he would have a little piece of information that would be the rest of the story. So when would you use outline formulas? Well, when you need structure to follow for a writing project or when the writing project needs consistency and is somewhat repetitive. Now, well, how about guideline formulas? Well, the guideline formulas... Um, um, don't offer a step-by-step -step structure, but instead they provide a, a foundation or principle to use as you write. For instance, the Selwab formula, start every letter with a benefit, acts as a filter that when you, uh, when you write leads reminding you to offer the benefit to the reader at the beginning of the letter or offer. When should you use guideline formulas? Well, as a guide, when you write as in a self-check as you edit and proofread. And this is sometimes good if you, are, if you are trying to develop your own style to have sort of a guideline for you to use that doesn't crimp your style, but still creates some level of structure. Now, there are all kinds of formula names, and, uh, um, and so there are... There are um, different kinds of names for these formulas. There are acronym names, of course, and an acronym is an abbreviation is made up of the first letter of each word, uh, making the new name out of it sort of as NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, DYI, do it yourself, AKA, also known as, are good examples of copywriting formula acronyms. ADA, Attention, Interest, Desire, and Action, uh, is a guideline uh, formula acronym. And another one is SMIT, the single most important thing. 
And then there are mnemonic names. And now mnemonic names are words or phrases or sentences that help you remember a message or a group of objects. And they're most readily known as a as a as a as a mnemonic. And you know, as in you know, uh, uh, it's sort of like the ABC song. A good example of this sort of writing formula are is are is the four U's. Use this as a checklist that reminds you of your headline content is useful, urgent, unique, and ultra specific. So we have these little we have these little acronyms and mnemonic names that we might use for our formulas. And then of course the final type of formula name would be a descriptive formula name, and we're going to look at these in a, in a in a in a future lecture. Some of these are labeled with descriptive terms like star, chain, and hook. Or even proper names like Bob Stone's copywriting formula. In conclusion, try some different types of formulas. Work with a template, work with some guidelines, and see what works best for you. And then, just like we did when we talked about testing of direct marketing offers and lists and messages, keep working with it to continuously improve until you become the best writer that you can be.